Now we talk about ordinal logistic regression. So oftentimes we have more than two outcomes. So for example, consider the data for likelihood for applying to college. So there are three outcomes. You know, the person is unlikely to apply, which we will denote by one, or he is slightly likely to apply, or he is very likely to apply. So these three, one, two, and three are our response variables. The predictor variables are GPA, which is continuous. Parent has a college degree, which is binary. And the high school which the student is studying in is public. So GPA is continuous, parent education, and this public is dichotomous or binary. So let us see data for student one. So student one is unlikely to apply. His GPA is 3.2. His parent education is zero. That means the parent did not have a college degree. Public is zero. That means this person is studying in a private school. So consider student two. Student two is slightly likely to apply. His GPA is 3.2. His parent had a college education and he is studying in a public school. So public is one. Student three, he is highly likely to apply. His GPA is 3.9. His parent has a college degree, one, and he is studying in a public school. So this is binary, this is parent education. And this is whether the high school is public or not. So we want to make a model out of this. And you feed in these three things that is you feed in these three predictors and you want to get the probability of one two and three so one is unlikely slightly likely or likely so you want to get the probability whether the student is unlikely to apply slightly likely to apply or likely to apply the corresponding probabilities you will get here if you feed in three things, the GPA of the student, whether his parent has a college education, and whether he is studying in a public school. So let us now uh, do this in R. So first is this RM list LS, this will clear the memory. You require this package mass. D1 is about reading our table. So this is the address. Till here is the address. and this is the file name header is true because we have already put in the header so you do the first two rows you get the first two rows you have apply parent is parent education public is whether the person studied in a public school or not so one means that he studied in a public school this is the GPA so these are the row numbers you can see this as data for student one student two and three and so on so you first use the model m you use polar p o l r this is found in the mass package that's why we call the mass package first so apply is your response so we have apply is our response and uh, it depends upon parent education, whether the, whether the person went to public school or not, and finally the GPA. Your data is D1. We put the Hessian matrix is true, just in case you want to find the information matrix later on. So you have this model M now. So your model M contains all the information it is now built. What you want to do is now find the probability. So you feed in the predictor variables, which is parent education, public and GPA. So say N1 is your data now, new data, where you fit in parent education is one, that the parent has a college degree. Public is one, this person is studying in a public high school and his GPA is 3.7. Then you want to predict given your model M, your model M is this, 
data is n1 this is your data you want to predict the probabilities so you will get the corresponding probabilities the probability that person will is unlikely to apply is 0.25 the person is slightly likely to apply is 0.48 and person is highly likely to apply is 0.26 so by this method you can keep on building different probabilities so you keep changing data here so you keep changing this and you keep getting different probabilities so now we want to find out whether these probabilities which we get after changing this data are statistically different from other probabilities now we keep everything else the same you keep public as 1 GPA as 3.7 and you make parent education as 0 so again you try to predict the probabilities your model is M now you have new data N2 the type is probabilities so now you see the probability of 1 becomes 0 0.4959 the probability of 2 and probability of 3 again 1 is unlikely 2 is slightly likely and 3 is highly likely so you can keep changing this and you can keep getting probabilities but we want to know whether changing this parent education from 1 to 0 is this statistically different similarly changing public from 1 to 0 is it statistically different because you can keep changing this and keep getting different probabilities but we want to know whether the probabilities you're getting are statistically different so we want to find out the importance of these three parameters parent education public and GPA so that when we change them we can rightly say that the probabilities coming out are statistically different so again remember that in the linear model if zero lies in the confidence interval then the estimate of the coefficients is not significant so if alpha you compute and it is same as zero which lies in the confidence interval then alpha is not significant so here we are using exponential of zero which is one so we want to make sure that one does not lie in the interval if one lies in the interval that coefficient is not significant so this is how you will get the coefficients this OR stands for odds ratio and this is the confidence interval 2.5% to 97.5% so this interval does not contain 1 this public contains 1 it's 0.5 to 1.6 this goes from 1.11 to 3.0 so this again does not contain 1 so the important ones are parent education and GPA so you do not need to put public in your model so you can drop public from your model or you can say that if you change public from 0 to 1 whatever probability difference you get is not statistically different so this you can drop now what does these values mean 2.85 and 1.85 so these are relevant only when compared to the base case so we have three cases here 1 2 and 3 your base case is 1 so your base case is always 1 so base is 1 so if you change parent education so parent education goes from 0 to 1 so parent education goes from 0 to 1 then from the base case from 1 to 2 or 1 to 3 the odds ratio improves by 2.85 2.85 right here 2.85 right here so corresponding to our model it means if the parent has education that is parent goes from 0 to 1 then the odds from going from unlikely to slightly likely go up by 2.85 and odds from going from unlikely to likely they also go up by 2.85 so again your base case is 1 similarly for GPA so your GPA goes up by 1 unit so notice that GPA is a continuous variable so GPA goes up by 1 so your base case 
is 1, 1 to 2 and 1 to 3. So your odds go from 1 to 2, 1.85, 1 to 3, 1.85. So notice that odd ratio is greater than 1 because it is 1.85. So that means there is a switch from 1 to 3 with the odds ratio of 1.85 and from 1 to 2 with the odds ratio of 1.85. From the base case, unlikely to slightly likely or you can say from unlikely to likely. So if GPA goes up by 1, the student is more likely to apply compared to unlikely. But the best way to do it is that you keep feeding in data and keep getting probabilities. Now this model is very important. This model was supposedly used by the Barack Obama campaign um, during the elections. What they did is they went to the battleground states and in the battleground state they went county by county and picked up every person. So for every person they took up one person and based upon his income level, his uh, race, his uh, past voting pattern, they found out whether this person was right, likely to vote Republican, Democrat or was still an undecided. So based upon the probability, they allocated their resources. So this is extremely important for uh, elections and uh, anything where you have more than one outcome. But your outcome is categorical. It is one, two or three. You could even have four. But it is better to keep your categories uh, uh, up to four only because then these probabilities become more and more split up and difficult to difficult to understand.